already pressed it. Alright. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on Outlander Outdoors. You guys might recently have learned that I moved to Florida and you can't live in Florida without fishing at the beach. So over so I'm, I've got one of the poles set up already and I'm using live squid or dead squid, not live squid, yeah. for bait. Um and I have a uh, I think three four ounce weight and um looks like three J hooks on the squid and uh, it's hooked up to a swivel hook and I have one right here for the top for the feeders that eat on the top and one down here for bottom feeders and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cast them out and I'm going to grab the way so I don't flip me by accident The screen goes off. Does it go off? So some guy told me that when it goes like this, it's the waves. When it goes like this, it's the fish. But it's kind of going, and I'm not sure if it's the waves, wave, like wave after wave, or a fish with the waves. So I'll just have to find out. Okay, so I'm just decide, I think I'm going to decide to reel it in and see if there is a fish on. But, don't know if I should do it yet. When it starts picking up a lot, I will. So, as you see, bait is gone. The bait is gone on the bottom. So that leads me to believe that there was a bottom feeder that took it, or the waves took it off. But I doubt the waves took it off. So I think I was a little too late, wondering whether or not I should reel it in, because I think I did have a fish on. But it took the squid and got off. Luckily, I had more. So. My dad's coming with my new one here soon, so. It's disappointing when you 
have, when you don't know if you have a fish on, and then you decide, all right, I'm gonna take the chance so that it doesn't go. And then you learn that there was a fish on, but you were too late. There's, it's disappointing, but luckily we have a bunch more squid, so um, I'm gonna catch a fish no matter what. So uh, yeah, Let's see when there's a new pool in the water. Not getting cut. Okay, so we now have two pools in the water. My new surf rod right here. And an old one from Kansas that's probably gonna work fine as a surf rod, so we got that too. So this is so now we have a two and four percent chance instead of a one and two percent. That's the same thing. A two and one percent no, that's that's uh that's odd number. Um, the we have a two. Let's just go to a three percent chance because we have a 50 50 percent chance to catch a fish. Now we have one pull and another pull. So um, the only thing is I only have two of these little rod holders and I can't use one from a camera. But I am gonna be able to fish now with two poles. So let's go. Press out. So I just got. A Right? Just keep tension on it and you'll see if it wants to take off. Keep it up. Going the wrong way. Oh, this is my first though. Reel it in. Right. See what you got. Keep it up. Keep it up. Walk towards it. Keep. It might just be in the sand. Is it one to take off? Keep walking. Keep walking into it. Keep tension on it, Gabe. Keep it up. Keep the pole up. Yeah, just in case. Nothing. Hey, hey, hey. Wonder what that big hit was. Yeah, I don't know. Here, I'll cast it back out there for you. All that right. was a big hit. You, that you was saw it, right? I, I did see it. That was a very big hit. I don't know if the fish just let it go when I started reeling in or what? Because there's this debate still on right now. Yeah, my dad's a better, much better, much better caster, so. Well, third time is the charm. Third time is the charm, pop gold, whatever. Um, so, try again. I didn't have anyone over here to uh, film me reeling it in, but I did catch one. I think it's a snook. I'm not sure. I don't know all the fish here yet. But um, it's my first saltwater fish ever. And um, it's not very big, but then again, it's my first fish. So I'm super excited about that. And as you can see, there's kind of tiny teeth in there. It's not a shark. It doesn't have the shark dorsal fin. It does have, though.
that on camera. And he does not like me. Luckily for him, though, we do not have a cooler, so I won't be able to cook him. Yeah, put him back then. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to put him back. Wait till he's bigger, right? Yeah, wait till he's bigger to cook him. He's too small, anyways. So I'm gonna have to get him really big. God, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Can you hold the pool, Mom, while I go release this guy? I'm gonna go get All right. are so pokey. Yeah. Ah, you quit trying to roll off me. Cool. Stone, uh, stone or stand crab? One of those. Show the test. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, cut that. I guess. What do you got? the same one that we caught. Maybe. That one was a little bit small. Same type of fish. I think it's I have no idea. Like a drum or something? I have no idea. Like we need to learn our uh, yeah. we need to learn our, our fish identification chart for uh, Florida I guess. They look tasty. Yeah you just cut up a little chunk. So, uh, two, three three out hooks, circle hooks. We're uh we're City area, like on the side. Yeah. Okay, so this bit, so this time. down towards the middle of his mouth. Pop it. There you go. Yep. We're gonna get him in. in the net and let Caleb release it.
Two on the two on this one. Oh, you're kidding! I didn't know how to do that. Yeah. So with the first one, you guys call it the same type of fish. Yeah, yeah, about the same size as the big one. That just got. Go into the waves, Gabe. Thank you. 